Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Personally, I, for one, love the look of a Michael Bay film. Always have. Maybe not the way that that footage is edited all the time, but the images themselves are gorgeous. Bay started out in commercials, and he knows how to shoot slick, sexy, and extremely patriotic imagery. One thing I always admired is the fact that in his first three films, that'd be Bad Boys, The Rock, and Armageddon, the camera was always moving, even in scenes of dialogue, to give each scene a sense of urgency. You know instantly when you're watching a Michael Bay film just by how great it looks. Everything caught by Bay's camera, from a Ferrari to a city skyline to Megan Fox's midsection, is extraordinarily well lit and framed as if it's being advertised. For Transformers The Last Night, Bay pushes the visual medium even further by being the first production to use the brand new IMAX 3D camera system, and indeed there are shots in this film that are simply stunning to behold, and some action, especially in the film's final third, that is genuinely awe-inspiring in IMAX 3D. Great news for audiences bored to death of CGI mass destruction, this film will actually show you some huge, adventurous imagery with a scope and a scale and beauty and a grandeur that you've never experienced before, as humans and robots battle on a piece of planetary turf suspended 21,000 feet in the air as it crashes to Earth with airships, debris, explosions, and glowy metal parts flying everywhere. There is some very, very cool stuff to look at near the film's end. Therefore, it is really a shame that by that point, I didn't care about one bit of it. Not the characters, not the plot, or what I could understand of it, nor any of the relationships. I did not care. By the time Transformers The Last Night started to get good, in other words, I was more than ready for it all to just be over. Because I had spent the better part of two hours being shown a relentless garbage fire of disparate elements masquerading as a story. If you've seen a Transformers movie, and I can tell you I've seen all of them except for that last one, you know what I'm gonna say here. Cheap cardboard human characters, juvenile humor shoved down your throat, and a bloated and overly complicated story. For his part, Michael Bay says this is his last Transformers movie, and he's spent the last 10 years now making almost nothing but Transformers movies, and I honestly hope he holds to that because I really want to see what happens when he gets his hands on a great script. You know, one with well-written characters who bounce well off of each other, and whose actions have emotional consequences and propel the story forward. Because I know Bay can supply the grandeur, he can make it all look sexy, and hit well-defined story beats with bombastic flair. But he just can't beat an interesting story out of this mess, and his attempts to do so only make the whole enterprise worse. The trouble starts early, when we spend 20 minutes or more setting up this little girl character who will pop up throughout the film, but have no real impact on the story. She fits a demographic, so she's gotta be in there. Then she's sidelined for the entire middle section of the film while the adults go off and learn stuff and actually move the plot forward. Then, near the end, she jumps back into the thick of things. She literally stows away on a military ship so that she can scamper, unarmed, through a battle zone, basically hiding, around looking up at impending doom. She's useless and a waste of screen time. And I'm only dwelling so much on this girl character because at some point, near the end, when two main characters shift within the span of only a few minutes from a mansion in Dover to a car chase through London to a submarine to Stonehenge in the blink of an eye and you wonder to yourself, why? Why can't you just slow this down to let some of the adventure sink in? Why can't you hit each one of these beats a little more effectively before moving on? You had two and a damn half hours to tell this story. That's more time than most movies get. Why are you jumping around this erratically now. What have you been doing this whole time? I'll tell you what they've been doing this whole time. They've been spending a whole boatload of precious screen time filling the screen with useless characters and overly complicated subplots and backstory. They spent time establishing this girl, showing the machinations of the government forces trying to negotiate with Megatron. Yes, he's back too. They slow down every scene with lame joke attempts. They ape the Da Vinci Code to establish a backstory that includes King Arthur, Nazi Germany, and Shia LaBeouf, if you can believe it. The main supplier of that backstory, by the way, is Sir Anthony Hopkins, and look, I'll tell you, I wish that I had as much fun watching this movie as he had making it. He's clearly having a hoot lending his gravitas to this junk, and I can't be sure, but there are moments when he's clearly improvising. And my suspicion is that he had a few drinks before heading off the set because he figured, what the hell, who cares? Too many needless subplots. Disjointed story timing, lack of narrative focus, painfully unfunny comedy. Transformers The Last Night is a mind-numbing, completely uninvolving, great-looking, but incomprehensible steaming pile of cinematic doggy doo doo I declare it to be an empty bag of popcorn, a complete waste of your time and money, and one of the worst movies of the year. Am I getting through here? 
Spare yourself the headache and go see Wonder Woman or Guardians of the Galaxy 2 again. Because if you're like me and you care about being told a, you know, actual story when you go to the movies, then Transformers The Last Night is just gonna piss you off. Well, that does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more and support us by clicking subscribe while you're there and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Transformers The Last Night in the comments as well. Let me hear it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. Autobots, roll out!